New week, new animal. This episode, we're taking a look at what seems to be some sort of alien creature. Except it's not an alien, it's the Big Fin Squid, one of the many horrors that inhabits our oceans. Big Fin Squid are actually a genus of five different supposed species, but due to the elusive nature of these animals, few specimens of each species have ever been studied. And so it's not unlikely that perhaps some of them have been misclassified. Their genus, Magnapinna, is part of the order Oegopsida, meaning it is a relative of the Humboldt and giant squids. Interestingly, it's unsure whether we have ever encountered a fully grown big fin squid. Juveniles and larval specimens have been found, but it's disputed whether or not we have ever found an adult one, which means they could grow far longer than their reported length of 4 to 8 meters. Unsurprisingly, they live in the ocean, as they are in fact a species of squid. They have been spotted in areas all over the world which has contributed to the distinction between species in the genus. Magna Pinna atlantica, unsurprisingly, is found in the Atlantic, near the Azores, but there have only ever been two specimens caught. Pacifica, in the Pacific, found off Hawaii and California, but only three specimens have ever been caught. Talismani has been found also in the Azores, but only one specimen, so it could very well be part of of the Atlantica species. Species B and C have both yet to be described, but B is a single specimen found near to Talismani, so it could also be the same species, and C is also a singular specimen found in the South Atlantic. Despite the lack of specimens, we have seen them alive in the wild in many other places like the Gulf of Mexico and the coast of Ghana, and the Australian Bight. They have been spotted by submarines and cameras from around 2,000 to 5,000 meters down, putting them in the bathypelagic and abyssopelagic zones. However, they could be deeper or shallower, we just haven't seen many of them yet. Normally, squids use their arms and tentacles to grab prey and eat them, however due to the enormous length of the big fin squid's tentacles, it's unlikely they can move them very well and would be unable to hunt with them. That has made scientists ponder how these squids actually feed. Some have suggested they might simply filter feed, using their arms and tentacles solely for propulsion and swimming along collecting plankton. But more interestingly, some have hypothesized that the huge length of the tentacles means they must use them to drag along the seafloor to excite any edible creatures in the silt and mud, and then grab them off the ground. Either way, it's clear we're not 100% sure what they eat. Little is known of their diet, and even little is known about their breeding habits. We honestly just don't know how they're able to breed with the long tentacles in the way. However, as we know how other squids breed, we can speculate. In most squid species, the male is able to use their tentacles to deliver spermatophores, small sacks of genetic material, over to the female who then stores them in special sacks until they are ready to release eggs to be fertilized. We can therefore assume that the big fin squid does something similar, but with its very long tentacles. The most peculiar part of this already peculiar animal is the elbows. The arms and tentacles seem to jut out and then go straight, with what looks like elbow joints keeping the tentacles away from being directly below the abdomen. Scientists are still trying to figure out why they are like this. One theory is that it aids in feeding. As the tentacles are so large, if they were not held away from the body, they would impair the squid's ability to feed from its beak. The elbows also allow the squid to raise their tentacles above their head, something most squids can't do due to the smaller size ratio of their tentacles to their body. We are also unsure why the squid would ever want or need to raise its tentacles above its head, but it is thought to be again to aid in feeding in some way. We simply do not have enough specimens to be able to estimate their populations or trends, so we have no idea how well these animals are doing. We do however know that they are hunted and eaten by larger fish. One of the specimens of the Pacifica species was found off the coast of California inside a lancet fish, another terrifying ocean creature. A whole host of other creatures could quite easily eat this, as despite its large tentacles, its actual body is very small, only around 30 centimeters in length. Thank you for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you'd like to see more from us.